everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Nemesis, the board game by Awaken Realms. This is a Kickstarter board game that aesthetically is aliens. Mechanically, a little different, but yeah, aesthetically, it's it's aliens. The monsters are xenomorphs for the most part. At least the standard ones are. So this is the shipping box. I actually opened it a little bit, both because it was closed like one of those prank wrappings for Christmas and such, and also because I thought it was just a game on the inside. But I was wrong. I don't know what's past the very top of this on the inside, but we're going to find out. So what I have seen already is this adorable little pudgy space kitten and with Cheetos and the Kickstarter bonus content of Nemesis. So let's get to that first, which is just a box. Oh, it looks like the game is underneath. So I'm gonna take the stuff out of this box so it's less of a pain in the ass. Oh, and then an advertisement for Tainted Grail, which I will have on the way eventually, because that Kickstarter just ended a few days ago as of this recording. And then the game itself is right here. Gravity, your pain. This is a big box. So, um, let's start with this first. The Kickstarter content. It's just a small folded up cardboard box. Get the piece of tape. Curse you, tape. Curse you. I'm guessing it's just a tray of stuff, but we'll see. Nope, oh, no, there's definitely things in there. Alright, so let's get everything out of here. Ah. It looks like it's a bunch of extra stuff that's bonuses for the most part. So we've got a deck of cards called Ethereal or Ether Fields. With the still my face on it. Reminds me of uh, Kingdom Death, so let's dig into that. Don't know what this is. It's got a doo -doo 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 -doo. small description on the back, but let's just open it and find out. I don't know if like this is something standalone, um, an advertisement slash free product for a separate game, or for all I know, it's just a fancy deck of cards. It's a fancy deck of cards that looks like it's advertisements also for their other games as, yeah, that's the back. I think I've seen that before. I think I've actually seen that worked on by somebody. Oh, okay, that's not the back. That's, there are a bunch of art cards. This is the back. And we've got some standardized images for the numbered cards. And then the, oops, gotta leave the jack too. The jack, king, and queen are artistic cards. Let's see if they're the same. No, they are not. So that was the diamonds. Here's our hearts. Clubs. And spades, as well as two different jokers, or at least I'm assuming they're the jokers, they're stars instead of jays. And then we have various art cards, artistic design on one side of these six, and then the actual model, be it a 3D render or not, on the other. Um, I've seen some of these before, and not on their sites, I've seen actually finished and worked on versions. Then we've got Nemesis Punch-Outs, numbers, letters, uh, hand symbols. So these seem to be all double-sided with the same thing on each side. Um, I don't exactly know what these are, but it looks like extra components for the game. And then we have a graphic novel, I believe? Uh, graphic novel slash scenario book. So, for Nemesis. 
Like, it is a graphic novel, but after the prologue, which is that, there is some general rules. Like, this might actually be a rule book. Mission 1, Breaking Quarantine. And then after the section of uh, actual graphic novels is the mission setup. And we've got an envelope of sorts. Dear backer, da 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 da. Ooh, I know what this is. Uh, this is one of the metal coin counters, I think, from Tainted Grail. It's got a skull on one side and a grail on the other. And then a very long thing, including important notes about their potential problems with models. As in, hey, contact us if it's something wrong, and here's details on what to say. That's really nice. But uh, the front of it is a uh, dear backer's uh, thank you letter. I'm not going to take the time to read this out on video. Then we've got a Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon art book. I still don't know how I feel about the gameplay of this game, but the art of the models was enough to get me to want to buy it, plus the amount coming with all the stretch goals and everything. Uh, so, it, I have it coming, I just don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. Regardless, let's actually get to this! You know, the actual title of the video. Now, I don't know if this just opened up in the process or not, but the box is like a third of an inch, like, without the lid covering. So, inside, we have 26 miniatures, 300 plus cards, 20 cardboard room tiles, and 200... 200 other components two-sided cardboard map uh, because it's one of those the tiles place onto a map not make up the map they just make up the different parts of it and plastic insert which I don't know why they listed but like here let me get the plastic out before I show that off I forgot up until opening this this was done by the same people as um, Tainted Grail and it was one of the reasons I was okay with buying Tainted Grail but that's what the game will look like So, we've got the game manual, at least the large manual, with all sorts of different kinds of things in it. I'm just wondering, nope, okay, so the graphic novel is just, at most, a stylized version of the mission book, if there is a separate mission book, um, and it's not a rule book, there's a lot more in there. Um, we've got some room sheets, room one, additional rooms two, special rooms, and there's two of them, they look like summary sheets for said rooms. Uh, and we've got one, two, three. I'm just going to stop counting the number of punch out boards there are. Um, we've got. Ooh, okay. So we've got a bunch of different uh, tiles, engines, and rooms. They are different on each side, but it's more blank kind of thing, or damaged in the case of the engines. Then we've got I, what I'm assuming are escape pods, some more rooms, and the intruder board. Um, I can't remember if the intruders, the enemies, are controlled by another player or if they're controlled, like, automatically. I believe other player was a uh, expansion. And this is just the core game. The expansion is coming significantly later, all of them, uh, including the one that actually makes this full co-op. And again, they're double-sided. Uh, the engines have a working side this time, and the escape pods have flopped, and the intruder board just has less details. Then we have character boards. Um, these characters don't have names, they just have titles, uh, which is generally how I refer to a lot of investigator-like things. So we've got the mechanic and the captain. Uh, the character board is the same on both sides on the back, just blank, so you can shuffle. And then three more rooms. Then we've got the scientist and the pilot, and another three rooms. The scout and the soldier, with two rooms and a nest, which I'm assuming is still a room. Yes, by the back it is still a room. Uh, then we've got a bunch of punch-out tile, like chits and stuff. 
I have no idea what most of these are. Um, these on the back have warning levels of one through four. These are double, uh, same on both sides. Uh, same thing with all of these and these. And then these have question marks on the back. Then we have what looks like a cardboard stand, box stand. Um, first player token, which is the cat from the other thing, except without the Cheetos. I am getting a miniature of that, by the way, as well as three other cat miniatures. They are not the scale of the game. They are slightly larger scale from what I recall, but they're still, they were adorable. And then we have some hatches that look like doors. And then Nemesis, it says, and the cat is double-sided, even has a little paw print around its butt. Then we have the actual board, which I believe from as a stretch goal was made double-sided. Yes, so it gives two different layouts. Uh, this is a six-piece board, so two by three as I slowly unfold it in the hopes of not ripping it. Woo! So this is the layout of the ship one way. And, oh boy, oh, oh, this is the other. Did you, no, 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 breaking, please. Ah, okay, then we're on to trays, or at least a tray. There's more than one. Uh, so the first tray, is there a third one? No, there are only two trays has some miniatures, a place for putting, I'm assuming, the character boards, um, has the dice, and a few other things. So let's take a look. So right off the bat, we've got some dice, uh, standardized white on black D10, and two specialized D6s that have multiple icons, a blank, two target signs, a single target sign, this thing that looks like, I'm guessing, a xenomorph tail on both sides, and then one that's a double of that. Or two separate from each other. A bunch of stands, I'm assuming for the door tiles. Um, what appear to be flame markers, like runes on fire. I think these are upgraded components because there were some cardboard ones. So they have larger flames and a smaller flame on the inside. That's kind of cool. Um, broken cogs, I'm guessing they represent broken runes. Like, you know, you know, some of the teeth are one way shorter, there's a crack in it, they all look the same. There's eight of those. We've got a bag, probably for some random element. It says Nemesis on it, which is cool. Uh, clear, a bag of bead, clear bead tokens, like the one that was used in Lucidity, Six-Sided Nightmares. So I don't know if those are just a counter or if they're meant to overlay on something to act as a magnifying glass like they did in that in said game. Um, a bunch of red cube tokens like you would see in Pandemic. Then six colored rings. They're a little bit, uh, they're like the ones from Deep Madness, but they're rubbery instead of just plastic like they Bend is more my point. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, then we've got this thing that says insert contamination card here and is a red piece of acetate. It's open on the top. It's literally slide a card in, and it shows you whether or not the card was left. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, then we've got six stands that say Nemesis on them. They're actually numbered one through six. Or I think I'm guessing it's six. That was an assumption. Um, five, my bad. It's still numbered regardless. And otherwise, they're exactly the same. And a pain in the ass apparently to get back in. Then we've got these triangular to yellow tokens that are either signal, warning, or sirens. They have, you know, 
things that are radio. Uh, they they look like radio wave uh, symbols. All right, now on to some models. Um, most some of these are player characters. One, two, three, four, five. In fact, the first six will be. They did not make them separate colors. Female with a gun holding them upright. Um, guy with a harpoon on one arm, the one above his knee, kneeling, and a pistol on the other. Um, he's guy in a heavily modified wheelchair. Oh, yep. This model has never come out well, or has rarely come out well, and it's been one of the gripes that I've seen on this Kickstarter, is the uh, big giant suit. It's hard to see on here, but it basically looks as blurry as I'm holding it up to the camera. Because uh, it's kind of really like malformed and such. So I'm going to need to go through all of these, check for condition and stuff. It's one of the reasons they included the letter. Um... Another female character with an assault rifle and uh, little things coming out from her backpack overhead. And then a uh, character with literally a revolver and more larger arms coming off to her back. And on to some enemies. We've got three of these close to the ground legless xenomorphs. I don't know what they're actually called in this game. Um, yeah, I think they are literally referred to as intruders. These things that clearly look like a pair of face huggers. There's three of the previous model and six of these. And we've got two of these really larger xenomorphs kind of models. Uh, they've got the double pair of shoulder sides and two tails coming out of their back. Out of the way, and on to the rest of this stuff. Oh boy. Okay, so continuing with the models, because then it moves on to a lot of cards. And there are spaces by the looks of it in here for storing uh, a lot of the cardboard stuff. Like there is a hexagon spot in here for all the rooms, and two other large open spots that I'm guessing hold one of them holds the engines and stuff. So we've got two of these models that are resting their arm on a beam they look like they're bending it and it's basically the same thing as the last one except standing upright and then we've got another one with its knee against a beam and being like it's nah and there's two of those as well i'm guessing those are all the same monsters just different poses and we've got two that are kneeling down like they're ready to strike or trying to be stealthy and then on to some models that are also enemies but very different from those previous few sets we've got this big brutish angry looking thing there are two of these to be precise that is actually really awesome and that's the fact you can see how it's assembled but also they did it right so that it's not a, a, a arm went into a ball joint instead of or a ball joint went into a socket instead of just flatly on um and then while well, this one's got a lot and then the other one probably has well which just has more spacing in it and then what i assume is meant to be a uh, the queen is the largest model in here it's slightly larger than the previous ones is this giant xenomorph with a single tail and no signs on its back, this big giant headpiece, uh, and then a hatch that it's opening, like bending open, with what look like face huggers coming out of it and one in her hand. Then we move on to cards. Five packs of cards here, starting with smaller cards. Looks like we've got, oh, they're literally labeled items, uh, a bunch of bandages, one use only it even says, alcohol, clothes, military drugs, adrenaline injection, don't know why that's different, uh, grenades, 
and then on to some actual equipment. Uh, prototype pistol. Prototype shotgun. And prototype rifle. Prototype, prototype, prototype. Oh, and they are even... They even have a weapon back. Uh, energy charges. Good chunk of them. Recon drones. They look like modern drones, honestly. Self-destruct key. Evacuate key. Comms key. Comms key. Three smoke grenades. An extended magazine. A pair of decoys. A different kind of item card. They even say crafted item. We've got antidotes, a taser, flamethrower, Molotov cocktail. Then on to coordinate cards. So you actually have to plot your way home. Some of these look exactly the same actually. Uh, they do change up a little in terms of the lettering and and everything. Oh, no, they are all different. But they all have Earth, Mars, Venus, and Deep Space, each with an A, B, or C after it. And then on to the next pack of small cards. More wasteful plastic. Vulnerable, okay, so these are intruder weaknesses, vulnerable to fire, vulnerable to energy, reacts to danger, the way of moving. These all have the same image on them. Vital place, species on the brink of extinction, the way of fighting, susceptible for, to phos, uh, phosphorus. got some character specific stuff. It looks like it's three cards for every character. They're even color coded. Yes, they are probably matching the colors that were on the boards. But like they have log key, six shooter, intercom, sawed off shotgun, flashlight and plasma torch, shotgun, energy weapon version, evacuation key, orbital maneuvering system, Pistol, hollow computer, laboratory equipment, energy rifle, motion scanner, air security key, assault rifle, armor, add to assault auto loader. Interesting. And then that's it for the character, I'm guessing, starting cards. And then we have some other items, different back this time, but same kind of stuff. Literally, energy charges, more clothes, chemicals is new, fire extinguishers. These look more like tool items. In fact, the next card is called tools. And there's a chunk of those. Duct tape. Gotta always love a game that's just like, here's duct tape. Uh, four of those, in fact. Nemesis plans. Space suit. Technical, uh, technical coordinates plans. I think too many S's on that. Uh, med kits, decent chunk of those. Synth synthesized food, and that's the rest of the small cards. Put those away before I make a mess. And there's a slot that it came out of that all of them nicely fit in. They don't even bunch around much, which isn't great if there's more coming in the expansions, unless the expansions also come with more spaces. Um, oh! Actually, I'm reading those two empty spaces because I realized that they had stuff written in them. So, screw that a thought of, like, hey, too much. Um, these literally say in them, empty space for sleeved cards in both of them. Spaces for both the large cards and the small cards. So you can get this entirely sleeved. And these small cards look similar to the FFG size smaller cards. And the larger ones are clearly standard size cards. Package. Right, but obviously on to the large cards now. So on the back, we've got some things that are labeled as intruder attacks. 
serious wounds. Events. Like a wound in Tethers. It's all the ones we have here. Something like egg protection, hatching, regeneration, noise in technical corridors, nest, hunt, scent of prey, malfunction. I'm not going to show these in details because these seem more like mechanics of the game that I don't want to spoil. Then serious wounds are things like arm, leg, body, stuff like that. They, they list specific things based on where you've been wounded. Um, sort of like Kingdom Death Monsters uh, series injury table, except I imagine getting the, the scars means you survive the game. Then we've got, like I said, the intruder attacks and like they've got things like scratch claw attack bite summoning transformation frenzy so things like that if people would like me to cover this game in more detail i am more than willing to i not like i may or may not get around to it anyway um but i've got to go seek permission to be able to show up the art first which i haven't done yet with this game and yes folks i do that with all my games that i do shells over with. Because better safe than sorry. I've seen channels shut down for less. Alright, then on to the next pack of large cards. We've got some ship cards. They don't say anything on the back. Uh, they look like they're actual complete extra cards. Uh, character draft. Uh, player number cards. They all say pass on the back. Intruder player action. So the player, the intruder is a player or it's an optional rule. Solo, solo slash co-op objectives. I hope they worked that into the core game and it wasn't an expansion. Uh, I'm not a fan of trader mechanics in most games. I have a feeling that because most of the time the trader just runs a muck and can't be stopped. If they even know in the slightest what they're doing. And objectives. Right moment to strike, hostile takeover. Some of these have player plus numbers, like aka X number of players need to be there. Uh, quarantine, alien on aliens on a spaceship, best friends forever. Then some of the solo slash co-op objectives. Oh yes, yeah, so they did work them in. Our destination Earth, uh, emergency post mortem, no man left behind, cleanup crew. Then the intruder ones are just various. I'm not even going to go over them, but they're just a list of things on each of them. Uh, the player order cards are also action summaries, like what you can do during your turn and such, what happens during the event phase. Then the draft char character drafts look to be character randomizers. They all say the same thing on the back, and then on the front they say, Pick captain with the image of that class. And these ones with nothing on the back look to actually be art cards, including for either characters that were not released or are coming in the second wave, like for example, I know the CEO is, or concept artwork for currently existing ones, like the scout soldier or um, scientist and captain are in here. Uh, there's even one for intruders in general. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I want to keep that physically in the game box, but it's definitely nice. I always love concept artwork. It's just sometimes the extra price tag for it gets a little obnoxious for like a book. And then on to the last pack, which is almost twice the size of the other two. In here we've got action cards. And that's entirely what this is. So, I wouldn't be surprised if this game is played through action cards. Um, but we've got things like search, interruption, order. <clears throat> Surprise of fire! It is impressive fire, not suppressive, but you get the reference if you want. Fast repairs, computer skills, demolish, computer skills. Um... A lot of these are color coded. I don't know if they're a deck for that class or that class is just better at it. I, I would think they would have different backs that they were for each class. Uh, computer skills, blocking access. Okay, yes, these are definitely for each specific class as there's a blue search card. 
and a pink slash purple search card with two different artworks that are clearly of the same characters, and like they each have multiples of the same one. So they all get certain actions, some of them unique, some of them not by the looks of it. And then while they are also action cards, here are the contaminant cards. They all look like that for the most part. Uh, they clearly have some sort of difference. And again, you use this thing to find out. Let's, let's do a quick show off of that. Woo! It comes up with a bunch of random words. I don't even know if that will show up on my... Yeah, there's no way that will show up because of the glare. I apologize about that, but it definitely shows something. And in that case, it was a bunch of letters that I can barely see without it. Like, it's not a necessary thing, but it's still really cool. And there are multiple different slots for holding these cards. But that's everything that was in the box, plus the... Kickstarter exclusive box that I showed off, which had a lot of nice stuff that wasn't actually necessary for the game or beyond the one punch out board. Not even helpful for the game, but just stuff from their company, which I appreciate. It was free stuff. Regardless, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, please share this video. Either way, you'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as if you want to see any of this stuff in greater details, you want to see a how to play video or review for this game, or more important, or more likely, if you want to see things in here painted earlier than others. Uh, I won't be getting into this game unless people uh, request it anytime soon. I do plan to do it in general, and it won't take long in case of the monsters, but the characters will take a long time, and the bigger monsters I'm going to put a lot more work into instead of just painting them black and dry brushing them for the most part. And if you want to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overviews, or my painting videos, all three of which I may get around to doing with this board game, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!